African-American art and artist, Julian Hudson. Julian Hudson was born on January 9th of 1811 in New Orleans. He was a 19th century freeman. His Battle of New Orleans in 1815 has had its principal subject, Colonel Michel Juan Fordier Jr., the white commander of a corps of free persons of African descendants who fought in the battle. He's known as the first African-American or French Creole of color operating in America. His self-portrait completed in the late 1830s and now housed in the Louisiana State Museum is the only known self-portrait by an African-American artist of the colonial period. The artist was of mixed ancestry and the manner of dress suggests that he enjoyed the privileges of gentry. As a free mulatto in New Orleans, Hudson was exposed to the French tradition and to a lifestyle that reflected a level of elegance and flamboyance not then found elsewhere in the United States. His self-portrait helps depict the flavor and quality of life that was available to many freemen in 19th century New Orleans. Another interesting view of life in the New Orleans area during this period is provided by the Matoyer family. Descendants of one, Marie Therese, who had been freed from slavery by the French commandment at Fort Nacotish and her husband, a Frenchman named Thomas Matoya. This family maintained a way of life that reflected the elegant taste of the period. The mansion Matoya ordered built for Marie Therese in 1750 is the oldest surviving dwelling constructed in the United States, both by and for African Americans. It is also one of the oldest buildings in Louisiana. The famous African house, a two-story building on the Matoya grounds, has features reminiscent of the construction found in the West African villages built of brick and cypress. The house is an impressive structure that stands as a monument to the ability of early African American architects and builders. Still remaining in the mansion today are three interesting paintings of Matoria family members. One is a portrait of Augustine, Marie Therese's eldest son that was painted in 1829 and signed with the name Fouville. The two others are undated and unsigned portraits of a grandson and a granddaughter. All three paintings are assumed to be the work of African American artists. In the mid 1800s, as a result of difficulties stemming from threatened slave insurrections, the Matoyer family became victims of white reprisals. For the Matoyers in 1847, sadly, this included the takeover of their home.